So how do you run your Python apps? So there are two simple ways of running your Python app. The easiest way is to just use the code editor that you use to write the Python app. Now, I have a file over here with this statement inside. So print hello, this is my awesome app. That's the Python app that I created. And as you can see, the file name is app.py. If you're using VS Code or PyCharm or just any other editor that allows you to um, run the code within the code editor, all you need to do is to go and look for the button that you need to press to run the code. So for VS Code, there is a play button up here, which you can just click and it will allow you to run the Python app. So as you can see, as I've clicked it, it just runs it for me. Hello, this is my awesome app. If you're using an extension, there are even options over here, which will allow you to either run the code in the terminal or just run the code. So I can decide to even run it in the terminal. It would come. Hello, this is my awesome app. So this is one way to do it. If you're using the code editor, look for the button that helps you run the code in the specific code editor that you're using. However, not all code editors allow you to run the code in there. For example, the Atom, the Atom code editor does not allow you to run the code within the code editor. So how then do you go about that? What you do when the code editor does not allow you to run the code within the editor itself is to navigate to the folder in which the program is and when you are inside that folder either you either open your terminal if you're on a mac or linux or you open up your cmd if you're on windows you open up your cmd and navigate to that directory if you're on windows you can basically just go to that folder and in here where the folder structure is you can just click here put your mouse pointer there and type in cmd it will directly open up your CMD within that particular um, folder or directory that we are talking about. So this is a directory, run Python code. As you can see, it's the same directory that I used to create the file. So the app should be here. If you want to be sure, if you're on Windows, you can just type, on, type in to the terminal dir, which will show the files that are there and the app.py is here. If you're on um, Linux or a Mac, you can just type in ls which will list out the the files within that specific directory for now i'm going to clear now to run the code all you need to type is the python like the, the word python and the name of the app which is app.py that's if you're on windows if you're on a mac you put a 3 over here that's because mac os has both python 3 and python 2 so to be specific you have to be specific um, in terms of the, the, the Python version that you want to use to run the app. So if you want to use Python 3, you put in 3 over there. If you want to use Python 2, you put in 2 over there. But on Windows, I'm only using Python 3. That's the only thing I have installed over there. So I can basically just say Python app.py. Just as it is for the Mac OS where you have to specify the version. On a Linux 2, you have to specify the version because they also have both Python 2 and Python 3. Here, I'm on a Windows, so I'm just going to go ahead and write Python app.py. And hit enter if i hit enter it runs the app for me hello this is my awesome app and that is how easy it is for you to basically run a python file myself i prefer running the code in the terminal because it seems more general to me it's something i can do on almost every machine and my terminal will always be avail available i mean sorry my terminal will always be available and by terminal i mean cmd on windows and terminal on mac os Linux. so that's it for this video there are two ways either you decide to use your code editor to run it look for the button that is in your code editor that allows you to run the python file or you can use your terminal slash cmd to be able to run your python file that's it for this video i thank you all for watching if this video is helpful don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next one